Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and Banjo Tooie, where the dinosaurs are so happy. So happy. If we, so long as we just keep the camera locked on this one, and no other dinosaurs in frame, it's yeah. all happy in here. No other dinosaurs have issues as long as we're looking in this direction. Look at all the joy on this one dinosaur. Mm -hmm. It'd be a shame if any other dino was happy as well. Get with well. the program, Tiny. Yeah, come on. And sick one. All right, you need to get my bag. Yep. That's what's happening here. That does explain why there's a split pad in here. I was kind of starting to wonder. Yeah, it, <laughs> this, this is definitely, I feel like this is an important jiggy just in terms of like how much you have to do for it. Mm. Oh, so like all of these are for one jiggy, aren't they? I think so. Wow. I feel like that should give me more. Oh, I do feel slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I ate. Or perhaps it was the pterodactyl dung. You know, I don't know. Who can say? Uh, get in the bag. There we go. Okay. So now... I need to take you to... I feel like my first thought was I need to take you to Mumbo, but Mumbo's got to come here. Mm -hmm. And if Mumbo's doing house calls, then like then Humba seems to be the one. It's got to be Humba, right? We got to go to the train station. Oh. What? That's right. What? We got to visit that train but again. But... Okay. Uh, well, there's a there's a warp somewhere. I'm so confused as to why we're going to the train station now. So wait, one of them we need Mumbo. Yeah, leave me alone. Mumbo needs to get in here to fix one of them. Mm -hmm. This one just needs a doctor. Mm -hmm. And we said, and Kazooie said, oh, like a shaman. And the dinosaur was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, isn't that odd? Isn't there like another? Is there isn't another shaman that, I'm not like, thinking about? Two of them seem like they're solved. With with Mumbo, that's what I thought. Isn't that weird? But now you're saying a train, which is not a shaman in most cultures. But I'm trying racking my brain trying to think of where a train could take us that would fix a sick dinosaur involving a doctor and or sh shaman. Here's a hint. Uh huh. It's Mumbo. <laughs> Mumbo, okay, so this is this is one of the overall things that like I get it gameplay wise doesn't really make sense in this situation. I'm yeah, I'm Each... trying to figure out All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this to Mumbo here if I can, if that's possible. Okay. And maybe that's why it's not possible. Maybe that's why you need a train, because I for some reason as Banjo cannot get to a Mumbo by myself. If that's the case, and I don't think it is, but if that's the case, then that makes sense. Like, well, okay, how else can I get to a mumbo? Also, why do I need to... It's still weird I need to get to a mumbo if mumbo is coming there, literally. But mm -hmm. if I need to get it to a mumbo, maybe mumbo needs to be in their place. Then, yeah, okay, I gotta find a mumbo I can get to via train, I guess. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of, like, how would I think to go to a train? Because there is a mumbo... That is unaccounted, a mumbo pad that's unaccounted for. Really? But there's, there's a mumbo right there. Uh, can <laughs> he's I swim? right there. He's, he's right there. He's right here. He really can I, is. Can I swim? Can Dinosaur, we? hold your breath. It's fine. That's fine. They're out of the water. You're fine. Yes, yeah, so you just... You're naturally buoyant. As all dinosaurs are. I love that run. Just the, all the legs at once. Uh, just burp, burp, burp. Oh, his little, his little body <laughs> check. animations are so good. What if they put just that guy, nothing changed in Monster Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> the more I think about it, the funnier it's it gets. It's really good. <laughs> oh, that's not at all where I thought that, that you were going. I didn't know where I thought I was going, but it wasn't there. And that was great. <laughs> Shoulder check, baby. Is like, oh, it's like a Rothalix. <laughs> <laughs> they do like their shoulder checks. They do. So, wow. hey, I got a sick dinosaur. Fix it. Mumbo not helping unless Baron Bird both safe in skull. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Mumbo. That doesn't make that, sense. You'd think that hurt. And um, someone with the whole dinosaur. <laughs> it's a big dinosaur. It's heavy and sick. Fix it. Mumbo. Mumbo the... <laughs> the Banjo's just like... Banjo, nah. what are you, Banjo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo. Mumbo. The... 
Okay, so, all right, so, if mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm a normal player of the game. Mm -hmm. I, you, I've, you've not given me any hints. I've never even heard of a train. You've got it. If I tried this, I'd think, okay, I'll try Humba. I'm not going to go try Humba, because I don't think that's the right answer right now, based on the clues you've given me. But that's the next thing I would try. And mm -hmm. then when that didn't work, I would... I guess I would bring Mumbo in there, which I do need to do anyway to solve one of the problems. You know what we could do? Uh-huh. We could, we could go return this dino. Okay. And then we could bring Mumbo to the dinos. Well, we gotta do that anyway. We let's, gotta do it anyway. Let's do it. And maybe that way there maybe will, be, give us there will be some hints. Yeah, because that, that's... Okay, because I'm trying to just figure out why on what on earth would make me think of a train. And mm -hmm. I think that that is a sensible thing for the player to do when they can't think of what else to do. And that, yes. Yeah. Okay. We got a plan. We got a plan. We are enacting the plan. <laughs> Very slowly. Slowly. It's, I can't it's I don't have talents to, to trot on, see, so like but trust me. <laughs> <laughs> plans and it still is a little uncanny how well you're able to imitate so many different banjo sounds. I'm really impressed. There's something about just like noises that I was always fascinated as a kid. Yeah, and, and if if one of them interests me, I would just say it, and I, I feel like that's still carried through as an adult. You know, like I, I feel like I've told you some of them, of like, um, uh, uh Worf in Star Trek <laughs> when he goes like Captain, yeah, <laughs> just, just that, like yep, just, yep. and uh, there's Ansem the Wise going Norman, like, <laughs> there's just like. Uh, something about it is pleasant to say as a character. I, yeah, 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 I remember you mentioning that before. And <laughs> I, I'd forgotten about it, but I like that. I I feel like I'd, I don't remember doing that sort of thing when I was younger. That's definitely me now, though. Like, mm -hmm. do you, you go to the left? Do you ramble, like, just sort of like ramble to yourself constantly talking aloud when you're by yourself at home? Yes. Okay, because I do that constantly when I'm left by myself. Again. Oh, I thought I was able to get. Huh. That's the train. Oh, that's a train. That's no, right. wait. Uh, you were no, no, right. You were right. That was it. That was it. You were right. Was, but I may need to go the other we way around. We have to though. go around. The yeah, end. yeah. Cause... I see. I got confused this time. <laughs> it's easy to do. I'm usually the one getting confused, and you're. I was the confused. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm constantly rambling to myself, and I don't really like get focused on sounds as much. But I think that's where I just like start naturally playing around with voices. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm actually like trying to figure new ones out. I think my brain just sort of like settles into a few random ones that are just sort of like I guess that my brain has fun doing, like kind of a Professor Farnsworth adjacent thing. Yeah. Sort of like what I my brain really enjoys just doing. Good news, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> good news, everyone. Uh, see, that's so good. That sounded great. <laughs> well, I guess maybe that's why I enjoy. It. Like it feels like it feels like I'm kind of getting it almost. Yeah. Billy West is amazing, man. He really is. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, voice actors are like my... I love seeing voice actors doing their craft. Isn't it like so exciting when you see like, here's just a normal person and then boom, it's like this voice you know. Yeah, and it's, like it's I love cool thing. watching... I love that he kicks the backpack. I, I love... Uh, could I have dropped that dinosaur out of there? No. Oh, it looks like you could drop it anywhere, but shoot. It probably wouldn't have done anything. Probably would not have done it. I'm not going to... Go to the trouble now. Okay, so but, we, we do uh, need Kazooie. Right, we need Kazooie, and we need to uh, get Mumbo in here. Get Mumbo in here. Okay, all right. Did we do anything with this jumpy thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did it with uh, just Kazooie because there's a oh, thing up there because right, she jumps right. higher by herself. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Now we can run. That's great. Now we run, and I. S I don't know if there's a warp close. I'll find something. Yeah, like I love behind the scenes interviews, like. Interviews, documentaries, anything where it's just voice actors talking about their work. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I've, in recent years, I've been spoiled because, like, various sites like Variety and Vanity Fair and a bunch of others have just been, like, bringing voice actors in to talk about exactly that stuff, like the history of their work and their, the roles they've played and how they got them, or, like, having different voice actors listen to other just random people on the internet imitating mm -hmm. uh, their voice, various voices and kind of critiquing them and sort of saying like, you're getting that part down really well, but there's this extra little element that you're missing or this this cadence or element or performance oh, you're missing. Yeah, and like yeah, yeah, talking yeah. through that stuff, I eat that stuff that's, up. I love that. That's really cool. It's so cool. Like getting Phil Lamar or Tara Strong or just uh, various other people. There, were, there was, I feel like there was like an interview with the guy who did Porky Pig that I'm drawing a blank yeah, right oh, now. Yeah, I can't. Uh, where, where he goes down the process of like, 
not only not only how to speak as Porky Pig, but then like the cadence of his speech yeah. and like that's so cool to me. It, yeah, like it, it amazes me. I love listening to that stuff. Okay, so I think we have to go like a specific route here with Mumbo. Oh, to get him over there. To that get would, him over there. Some so sense. I think use the warp and do Wumbos. Okay, will be the fastest. I appreciate you saving me some time here. I don't like my. You're helping to make up for the fact that because we're doing this Let's Play style, my sense of direction and focus is so compromised. It's totally fine. Like I feel <laughs> like if if the solution to a thing is just like you know the answer and it's just a time save for us, use the warp pad. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Thank you. See, this is exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. I get it because I do the exact same thing. Um, it's it's not like a I'm solving something for you. I'm just yeah, you're just helping me get there. Uh, your time, and then we want to go through that big red, the big red, the uh, that cave. That right there. One. Okay, because remember that little lip is gonna be on our right. Right. Okay. Yes. Gosh, it's like when you say it, I'm like right. Yes, but mm -hmm. <laughs> in the moment, my brain's like ah. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I and, don't and see it that, right in front of me. What do I do? Part of that, too, is one, we're recording. Yep. So the the game is not our full attention, especially I know from just being, just having the control in your hand is such a different experience than like... It is weird, right? Like even Let's Playing, but not being the one actively playing yeah. and controlling. It is also kind of a different weird state to be in. Not full attention, but better attention. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, like you're you're focused on doing other stuff, so you just kind of like wander because you have a train of thought you want to continue. You yeah, know? yeah. I catch myself doing that. All I the time. do that, yeah, frequently. I often find that if I'm going to like actually try to have to think about something that I'm saying, I just need to find somewhere to stand and not do anything for a while because I yep. can't do both. Yes, hundred percent. That was my that was my issue when we were playing Dark Souls Two. Of like, I had to run through a place <laughs> really quick to catch up, and I would just like totally stop talking because I was like. This is taking all my concentration. <laughs> all right. I, and I also want to give points for that very good line from the mother. It's like, thanks for beefing up my small child. That's a, just as a sentence. That's Mwah. great. Love it. Okay. So, hey. Oh, I do feel slightly unwell. Must have been that caveman I ate, or perhaps it was the... Right. But if I zapped you... <laughs> wait, wait okay. what why was that achievement I, for? Why did I get an achievement for that? Don't reward me for this. I assume I must have been just like holding that button down for a long time, or I have no idea. I don't know. Give me clues, large dinosaur. Sorry, but I only talked to Banjo because. Ooh, okay. All right. Mm. Oh my. Ooh, my. See, that's what like I'm just rambling to say nothing. Say. Yeah. <laughs> to shreds, you say. Yeah, like just saying random that, professor stuff. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Like, <laughs> it, like just it's fun saying, or just even saying any random thing. Yeah. Mean YouTube comments. See, there's another one. Professor Farnsworth for Ooh, Professor Farnsworth. That was good. <laughs> Damn it, the ice eggs are useful if you just try them for once. You can heal if you freeze them. It guarantees dropping a honeycomb piece. You're nearly dead. I'm losing his voice. Just it's, I'm <laughs> he's now kind of getting, getting into mad. it. He's getting yeah, too mad. He's just getting mad. All right. All right. Mumbo is useless now. Mumbo and is I don't useless. have any clues. I thought they were going to give me a clue. I really did think they were actually going to. I was, I was almost giving Banjo Tooie a point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I how feel like this is. So how did you figure out how to do the, involve the train in this? Um, Internet, probably. Okay. Honestly, it probably was people telling me I'm, because I'm I was like, <sighs> I I knew I hadn't done anything with that pad because okay. So you remember the the cliff top pad with the mumbo skull on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when he uses it, it says like heal or something like that but he doesn't do it because there's nothing there let's go out there because i'm let's, let's see what happens without the train there yeah i'm but we do really need to be curious banjo okay. yeah okay so let's become baron bird again come baron bird go leave the level go to clifftop mm -hmm. well actually first we want to bring train to clifftop oh no uh, actually it doesn't matter we keep the train here because we need to okay it. We need to bring them anyways. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. And I think there's a warp to the exit yes. of the level as well. Yeah, there's definitely a warp like right... There you are. And... Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a few of them. I have to have like not found one of the warps in this world. Still. 
There is there is a big area you have not yet gone through. Ooh. All right, we're here. We're here. Uh, cliff top. Cliff. <laughs> nope. There was one more that scrolled further. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> it's just just a little grunty, chiming in. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it. I did too. Just a surprise grunty. It. Cliff top. All right, so now we go get Mumbo. Right, and he's this general direction, I believe. Mm -hmm. See, I'm curious now how I figured it out if I wasn't just told directly by chat. Because I'm like, how does how's the game want you to figure this out? Yeah, like, okay, so we I guess we didn't even give him a Globo yet. Yeah. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We got a Globo. Here you go. Have it. Take the thing. And maybe... Like, I probably... We probably didn't come in here in the first place when we originally ran through. On account of, like... Me not having any idea what to use Mumbo for yet. Yeah, and I, you think I, knowing I think I that, explicitly like, told you, too. Like, we don't have... Like, this... We can't do anything. Yeah, and which... And fair enough. So, like... Maybe... I have which, otherwise. Which you want to know yeah, as a player? Okay. Oh, no, nope, Mumbo's dead. And Mumbo's dead. The end. Roll credits. <laughs> okay, that's good. And the dinosaur fell ill. Turns out he was fine. He was fine, though. No, that's not how it happened. Yeah, what's, ah. what's your, do you have like a favorite like game over in the game that does a thing like, oh, I was a bad dream. Like, <laughs> huh? Let's see. Mumbo confused. No patient here for me to use heal magic. Okay, so that would have been the cue. That's the cue. That's still not very good. That's not a very I'll, good also, way I to do it. Also, I just realized on the Mumbo pad it says Ecom Bokum. <laughs> it does. That's they weird. had to have added that. There's no way that would have been readable on the N64. Yeah, that would have just been a blur. <laughs> it probably was a blur. Now you can read it. That's funny. Cute. I yeah. Wow. Look at that. Just notice that. I okay, don't so like yeah, that's that's, a, that's the the hint. That's not a very. I don't think that's a very good hint. Like, maybe it would have felt like a aha moment if I mm -hmm. read that a while back and then... It's still a very weird one-off yeah. way for things to work. I don't I don't think that's great. Yeah, especially when you already bring Mumbo to the tiny dino. Like, that, why yeah, didn't that, he just do both things? There's literally a button right there. Yeah, that feels... that feels pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not, it's not really actually more busy work than what a lot of the other things are kind of making you do, but just the way the pieces are aligned in that particular case feels like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> it feels, it feels just like cruel to the player in the sense that like you've, you've already, it's, it's one of those things like if you've already pieced together a puzzle and then you just have to execute on the puzzle and that just takes forever. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that frustrates me more if I'm still trying to solve something Just though. as a general puzzle rule, like not yeah. even a banjo thing. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I agree. And that's a case where like, even in this, even in banjo, where like logic is goofy, if something feels like, it feels like this should work by the rules of your like silly world, or it feels extremely arbitrary why this particular one's not working. Okay, so I think, I think hang on, was that something I can... I see a button up there. There's a, a button. button. There's a button. I'd not noticed the button before. Hmm. What's the button do? Fire! Button does nothing. I need to get something up there to hit it. Unless it just needs a little more force. <laughs> it needs a little more force. That was the problem. Also, I have to get up there. That's the other problem. Um, How could we possibly get up there? I guess Kazooie can glide from like there. That'd do it. If only we had, like... Or a different kind of egg. Right. Egg. Right. The, the, the skeleton key. I keep forgetting the skeleton key. I, Why can't I remember this key? The reason I said it was just because we had a cursor pointed over <laughs> the direct spot we needed to shoot. Granted, I, I don't know if I can get that egg up there, but eh, it was worth a try. I'm here. <laughs> and... Ha! Hey! It actually worked. I'm here to save you. What if he was a mimic? <laughs> That'd be a good one. Well, I'd have been a perfectly positioned to destroy him. To destroy! <laughs> oh. oh. I thought, goodness, you've just been kind of running laps around me. I appreciate you being patient. Yeah. 
Also, we can get to the train by, or we can get to the people by going backwards towards oh, yeah. the camera. That'll be a little faster. Just a little faster to save ourselves sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm hearing more Jinjos. Are you? I thought I was for a second. Like, it over this away, but might just be a fake one. Or is it that noise? I don't know if I heard a Jinjo. Yeah, maybe it was just me jumping. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm so curious. I'm like, I... I, I... Jinjo eludes me. <laughs> okay. Uh, this isn't where we need to be, is it? Yes, it is. It is, right. right, right we need to grab up. the thing and, uh, yeah. Grab. Grab in bag. Take two train. Take two train. To go to the magic healing pad. Mm hmm The only one in the world. The only one? It's the only healing pad. I guess smart of Mumbo to position that one pad near a train where patients could be brought to him. It's true. It's smart. Just smart. And, uh, I, I know obviously, like, we, we've already talked this situation to death. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... It's one of those like, okay, I you know I know what to do. I know I have to go bring the thing, but now it's like, okay, we're banjo. We have to go to the train. We have to leave the to, world. Which I, I guess we. But before we can leave the world, we have to put the the dino down, go back and get Kazooie because we can't leave the world without Kazooie. Oh gosh, you're right. And then we have to come back to the train to get on the train to take the train to the cliff top to take banjo to the mumbo to take mumbo to the train to heal the baby to walk Bumbo back to the banjo and then take Banjo and Kazooie to walk back to the train and then walk to take the train to Pterodactyland and then take Banjo and Kazooie to a split up pad and then take Banjo to the dinosaur and bring the, the, the dinosaur back to the dino. We're doing this. So walk me through that again because <laughs> like okay so because you're right because I had forgotten that right I can't just leave the world I don't have Kazooie. So, so we want to go to the train. So we want to go to the train. Which I think is that, right? Is, it? is this the train? Okay, let's go. Uh, you know what? Actually, just just out of curiosity, let's see if we can even leave with Banjo. Since it's like the train. That's... Know, maybe. I imagine it's, we're not going to be able to, but... I can drop the dino in here, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get in here, and you stay inside Chuffy's wagon. Oh, and one of the cute things, too, is if we came here when we were... Uh, the other dinosaur was in here. Uh -huh. You could see them in here. Aw. Okay, that'd be pretty cute. But okay, we did that. So yeah, can you use the train now and tell it where to go? It's a great question. Whoa. I that is nice that they put that there. That is nice of them. Okay, appreciate that. Point. Point for that. Point for banjo Uh. Can I even... Oh, oh I don't think you can climb it. Ah. Oh, okay, there okay. we go, there we go. There we go. Oh. Sorry, but you can only come in here when Banjo and Kazooie are together. All right. Well, at least they let at least us this. do this. Yeah. I appreciate that. A little bit inelegant, yeah. but that's inelegant, inelegant is way better than just like okay. Well, then you have to do it the hard way then. Yeah. <laughs> that that that's one of those things that when I look back on it, it was like they tried to get swapping anywhere or yep. any time to work and they couldn't, and they knew the the time commitment for this one thing. Yeah, like sometimes like band aid fixes. May not be elegant, but they are fixes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they sometimes are that's what you, and sometimes too. that's all you need. Because <laughs> then we get on train. Then we get on train after we murder. Oh, got him, the imposter. All right, now on train. <laughs> We're taking you to the cliff top. To the cliff top. Go to the cliff top. Oh, Isla Hags, right, right. Oh, I was, I was confused too. I was like, it's, it is the cliff top one. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I was suddenly scared. It's fine. I'm gonna sip some coffee. Mmm. Oh, you know what? You know what's gonna have a coffee? There you go. A Kit yeah, Kat. so Kit Kats. All right. So I'm, I think I found the, the problem last session was that we had sweets, but then we stopped having sweets and we sugar crashed, and that was bad. The solution is to never stop eating sweets. Yeah, if we don't stop having sweets, we can't sugar crash. There you go. So this is going to be one of my favorites. 
This is apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. And uh, I love these. Wow, it like even smells very strongly of apple cinnamon too. It smells like a candle. <laughs> That's very strange, but very good. Mm, I love it. I didn't know how, like, because there's still sort of like a chocolate in there. A little bit, right? I think, yeah, I think when they do, like, more fruity or um, sweet flavors, they I think they blend more towards white chocolate. That, uh, yeah, that tastes a little closer to a white chocolate. But I didn't know how, like, apple and cinnamon were going to do with a chocolate of any kind. Yeah. Works pretty well, actually. It's, it's very nice. Why aren't we doing more kinds of Kit Kats out here? Like, these are all great. I know. It's it's, it's mind boggling. What's wrong with us? We get like like three variants of, of Kit Kat. And it's like, <laughs> dark chocolate Kit Kat, I'll be exotic. <laughs> I guess we can have them once we've earned them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I would love your help, Mambo. I have a sick Whoa. dinosaur that I brought all the way out here. It was a whole journey. Whoa. Um, where's your door? There you are. We're gonna spend like almost an entire episode just helping dinosaurs. It's a, you know, it's an important thing. For for five dollars a day, you could save a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I would normally, I would skip this one because I'm not aiming to like be completionist about it, but. And I really hope we get more than just one Jiggy for this, even though I'm pretty certain we're just going to get one Jiggy for this. But, um... I feel like it's an important Jiggy to experience. I, yeah, like... As sort of like the most involved one with the most steps. Yeah. And the dinosaurs are cute, so they're worth saving. Ah, oh, I'd say you're better. You're looking better. Happy dino. Happy dino. There you go. And it's that easy. It's that easy. Now we just got to take Mumble back to Banjo Kazooie, and then we take Banjo Kazooie under the train, and then we take <laughs> Banjo to the split up pad, and then we take Banjo back to the train, and we pick up the. <laughs> actually, you know what? I don't know if we actually need to get Banjo to carry. They, I don't know if they run back themselves. They might run back, they themselves. Might run back themselves. I wouldn't be surprised. Get all the other dinos dinosaurs. Well, the one other dinosaur that ran anywhere mm -hmm. did lots of running on their and own. Now, now they're not sick. So, right. you know. They should, frankly, so, yeah. save us the time. I'm not carrying you all the way back in my backpack. Dinosaurs. You can walk. Looking at you. It's like taking a little kid on a hike. <laughs> <laughs> so you not, wanted to come here. I'm not carrying I'm you. not giving you a piggyback ride the entire way. You were excited. You only walked for five minutes. All right. Let's take you back home. Back home. Eh. All right, to Pterodactyland. <laughs> Come on, it's a going. You know, one thing. Hmm. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for a bit for this. But okay. I do actually have a genuine thing of frustration that has been cleared up from this playthrough. So. Ooh, oh, well, that's exciting. Still, I don't think it's great, but it's better than I thought. All right, then. Oh, I'm, that, that'll be a thing for us all to look forward to. Also, I do see another caveman with armor I can blow mm -hmm. up out here. Oh, thank you, Dino. Thank you, Dino. You still... I'm assuming those are dust clouds from your running. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming. Yeah. Maybe it's just a stinky dino. It might just be a stinky dino. You're like the pig pen of this dino family. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're home. I can't thank you enough. Please accept... This shiny thing I acquired when I trod on one of those Oonga Boongas. And they just give it to you? That's nice. That's very kind. We worked really hard for you. Any chance of another Jiggy? No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and that actually helps. Them actually lampshading it a little yeah. bit. <laughs> like That was a lot. Still stings a little bit. Jiggy. But, alright, that's at least they acknowledge it. That was it. good. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. That feels a lot better. Alright. And I do appreciate yeah, that, yeah, I didn't have to do the whole like, oh, you changed color. I didn't realize that the fake ones yeah, changed the, the colors. The ninjas changed color. I only caught that this playthrough. That's pretty good. I've never run into the same one back to back mm -hmm. close enough to be able to notice. Okay. All right. Uh, huh. How can I get? This will probably work. Yeah, I think I think you can get around him. Ha ha! But one remains. I'll go shape of the pair. 
still one of us left. Don't know where, but I'll find you eventually. So now, Dan, uh-huh. we can get on the train. We can get on the train. Let's get on the train. Okay, so the thing I was initially frustrated about that I cleared out was one of our points of kind of confusion of the train not being a linear path. Yeah. I thought we had to solve every train station before we could get to Grunty Industries. Oh, but no, we can just go right, right there. As long as we get that one switch, we can go. So that that, That's, that helps. makes it better. That helps. Okay, yes. Um, that does help a great deal. But Let's yeah, that, that switch we've activated in the world, you have to take the train into the level to do the level. I see. Okay. Like, once it's explained, all right, that's not so bad. Like, as the yeah. experience when you'd have no reason to think that going in, like, it like it doesn't feel great then just sort of as the experience, but I do appreciate that it is not actually yeah, nearly as bad as it seems like it might be. Yeah, and even, like, like we hadn't played with the train really at all, so, yeah. like, I feel like you as a player, would you even have been, like, Oh, I can clearly bring the train into each level. It's hard to say, like, because so I know that I am playing this inherently a little bit differently, like because I'm playing it with you and I know I've mm -hmm. got you for guidance. And there are certain places where you're like, you have saved me a lot of time, like the, where I would try tons of stuff that didn't work, which on the one hand has been for the better because like I'd probably be running out of patience with a lot of things by this point if I had spent a bunch of time, wasted a bunch of time trying things that it turns out, nope, that's not the answer. You don't have the thing go back, go do something else, I guess. And just remember to come back here way later mm -hmm. when you have the arbitrary thing. Uh, but because I'm also not just trying and erroring a whole bunch of stuff, sometimes I'm maybe missing hints on occasion or something like that. And I don't really think that's like, that's not really you. The experience is not worse because you're here like giving me those hints. It's just different. It's yeah. just different. Yeah. And uh, Okay, I, I, I don't think I can just uh, hit those guys. I might have to shoot them with something. Or just avoid them. This looks like a real Mega Man enemy. It, it really does. Super Mega Man. Also, this is the most Donkey Kong 64 level in in the bunch. This like, feels like a Donkey it Kong. It feels 64. like a Donkey Kong. Just level. the theming already yep. feels just like a <laughs> super like K rules layer kind of. Like vibe. I can already hear Fear Factory mm -hmm. <laughs> like music. We got another old bunny. Oh What's hi. Saying? How's it going? Please find a way of getting my overalls clean. None of y'all have a shower, huh? No. They don't know how to shower. Well, I don't have water eggs yet, so just Ooh. wait. We gotta get water eggs and soap eggs. <laughs> if that's there were actually important. both, then I'd be on that board. Would, that would kind of be fun. <laughs> it's like, all right. That point, you're just all right, you're getting sure. ridiculous, We're, we're, we're leaning into it now. All right. Intruder in the trash compactor. Clean up droids report to floor one. Oh my. Oh, it's stompy. Hmm. I can't really just go direct, can I? It feels pretty closed to me. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm fine. Just walk. No, no. I'm just near dead. That's all. Oh, yeah. I think it, I think it did all that damage. It might have, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try that again right now. Maybe come back a little later. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of honestly, I'm kind of tempted to leave this level, planning to come right back. I want to go see what cheat we've unlocked. Oh yeah. Okay. So before we do that, yeah, there should be one of these exits that's like, here's the main exit, so we can oh, at least open up the front door. That's a good. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, workers' quarters, first floor, service elevator. That looks. Prompt. That's a train station. Okay. Train station. Give me his mouth. Thank you. Nice. Uh, first floor, waste disposal plant. Oh, is that going to tie into some of the other stuff we've been doing? Mm -hmm. How about that, Will? Thanks for the health. Needed it so bad. Oh, <gasps> move, move. Oh, uh, we do have enough we've for got it. Enough Interesting. To jump. You've got to want it, guys. Wait, uh, we needed more. We did need more at the other place. For that, lava. That's weird. Did we go to these out of order? We might have gone to these out of order. But we unlocked them. In this order, didn't I we? Thought so. You know, the episodes in which we unlock them haven't come out yet, so I get yeah. the feeling we will know one way or another pretty okay. quickly from the comments section as soon as. Okay, so that door behind us is the one. Oh, it is the one. Oh, not that one. Yeah. Nope. 
oh that's the elevator it's kind of cool but uh it's cool later it's dumb to the right to the right there you oh. go it's just a small door i didn't see it oh and we got a split pads, i see okay there we go I'm so interested if this is supposed to be before lava. Yeah, well, here, like, pull up a wiki, because it'll, like, it'll yeah, that's, list that's those true. in the order, right? And I don't want to wait however many weeks until Two comments tell us <laughs> how stupid we genuinely have been. That's our brand. It is a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if there's something... That Grunty you... Industries is between Ah Pterodactyl Land, Grunty Industries, and Hailfire Peaks. We sequence breaked. Did we open those in the same order though? We, we must have we must have opened them at the same trip. And then just gone for which like I would have thought to go to the clifftop one because I'd seen the entrance to that one already. Yeah. And like I knew it was there. So that's where I would have gone first. And it's probably what happened. That is <laughs> so bizarre. Well now I just feel clever. Also, now we're like way ahead of the curve. We'll probably like be able to learn a bunch of moves here. Kind of want to learn that, but I'm gonna cheats, cheats. We'll go get the move later. Cheats, cheats, cheats. So sorry, weeks ago comments <laughs> for that. Yeah, wow, look at that. But you, like, you know what? like state of mind we were in then you remember yeah, that's the milkshake's fault <laughs> that was the milkshakes talking speaking of milkshakes <laughs> uh, let's try another one take me to Jinjo village and yeah all right what are we trying next year this one's peach Pe oh i have no idea what to expect from i don't a peach either, Kit but i do love peaches and cream ice cream Ooh, i do so too I actually feel like I've not had a, I don't, like, not had a peaches and cream ice cream in a long time. I forgot that was even a flavor you could have. I, I've been obsessed with, uh, the, there's, like, the dairy brain here. It's, like, Tillamook or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Their peaches and cream is fantastic. Mmm, I want some now. And, yeah, this is tasting great. <laughs> oh. It's so peachy. It really is. Yeah, that's super good. Like, it almost feels like actual fruit is in there. Kind yeah, of it does. It tastes extremely feels? peachy. That's extremely yeah. good. Like, it's making me realize just how much, like, the medium of the Kit Kat actually is really good for a wide variety of flavors. Right? It's just like a wafer with some sort of, like, chocolatey, but not doesn't even necessarily have to be chocolatey. Like, just sort of a kind of candy-ish chocolate texture coating. Yeah. It's, and, a, it's like a perfect vessel. It's, it's really good for it, yeah. I'm realizing that. These have all been great. Kit Kat is the chicken nugget <laughs> of candy. <laughs> uh. There have been so many times I've been eating chicken nuggets and I realize I'm just eating the sauce and the chicken nugget is just oh, yeah. a spoon. Like, I, like, I've been getting into hot sauces lately, so I've like, usually will have a few around. Every now and then I'll sort of feel like I'm in the mood for chicken tenders, but more for hot sauce, for various sauces. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to order some and then just like have a bunch of little dishes with sauces to dip in. Yep. And that's what I'm excited about. Uh, that's right. We can't warp to a Spiral Mountain. We just got to walk on walk. our bird feet. We just walk there. Dragon bird feet. Not this way. There we go. There you go. I feel like I still haven't used the uh, new move. We I haven't still mo used the move we got for Banjo. Uh, from the peak. Mm -hmm. I know that there's- I can think of a couple spots in the peak that I'm gonna need that move. It's fun, though, because that is one we definitely need for Grunty Industries, so that oh, will actually good. save us some backtracking. Look at that! Meant to do it. Uh, what are we doing? Where is this flight pad? I oh, it's, it's, at the, the... it's at the top of oh, this okay. panel. I I was there's like, another I, one I somewhere forgot. else, too, that... There was, I, like, I think one by the waterfall? Or near... It might be up here. Maybe? Eh. Now I want to find it. Uh... Near our house? No. Does the bottle say anything about... Hey, did you know that Mumbo could revive you at any time? <laughs> Literally any time he wanted to. As soon as he decides he wants you alive, 
You'll be back, so just hang tight. Can we go in Banjo's house? Have we have we tried that? Let's try going inside the house. I bet there's sad music. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh no. Very sad. <laughs> it's great. Our poor house. Boom, beam, boom, beam, boom, beam. Okay. Miss you, Tootie. Mm -hmm. Enjoy college. <laughs> She's doing her own thing. Yeah. We're proud of her. We are. That kid's going places. <laughs> she never, get, she never, never like, get out of this dead end town. <laughs> <laughs> what if What if Banjo Three comes out and it's just Tootie's adventure? I'm I'm game. Honestly, that'd be great. Because okay. you know what Tootie doesn't have any of? Pre-existing moves. That's right. A whole new set of entirely new moves that Tootie and who's, what's... Patootie. All right, it's Tootie Patootie. That her Patootie, she's got a bird friend named Patootie who she has in her Tootie backpack Patootie. and they're going to learn, learn different Wait, moves. what if Tootie and Dixie Kong Ooh, team a crossover. Up. I'm here for they it. They both got the pigtails oh, or, no. or the long hair. Perfect. I, I can just climb this. I'm on the wrong side, but, um... Sure are. That works. It worked. It's fine. You know, it's fine. <laughs> we don't question it. Still waiting, like, Rare, you can reach us at playframeplus at gmail.com, like, if these ideas are yeah. exciting you. At any time. Please. The people our, are hurt in front of Our Twitter handles are in the dis text description below. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be waiting. Uh, great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time, spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My second cheat is eggs. Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. I'm assuming you couldn't just type, find where the cheats are and type them in. I believe you need to have them unlocked. Yeah. All right. Eggs. Use the left stick to... Well, yes. All right, well, we gotta go type it in. Gonna go type it in. Eggs. Eggs. I'm curious which one is the one I'm remembering. We... Because there's one that's very useful, just for us being idiots. <laughs> Let's see. We got, like, the homing cheat, but that was through, like, the stop and swap, so, like, we didn't mm -hmm. get it from Cheeto. We could type it in, but... Maybe we should. We could. That was is, it just that homing? Is, that was... is totally your call. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just see what it does. Apparently, we can turn it off. So yeah, that's true. I let's, let's see what it was because we definitely unlocked it, right? Mm-hmm. There are other moves out here that I've not. There are, aren't there? There's something in the water. There's something in the water. Kazooie. Yeah. All right, let's just do it. We're here. All right. We should don't remember what this is. Let's find out together. A Jinjo? I'm guessing a Jinjo. Hey! There you go! Nice. As much as I love my infinite fire eggs, I might get Kazooie back here get before Kazooie long. Kazooie back? Yeah. I I'm, like, I'm enjoying like the dragon, but uh... Original Kazooie too. I'm starting to miss Kazoo. Anything else? Eh, we'll be back. <laughs> Gotta go type in our cheats. In Maya him. It unlocks the homing egg cheat in the chamber. Uh, Maybe we have to go to the chamber in Maya him to see what the actual cheat is. Maybe so. Uh, let's let's go see. Um, because we definitely have it, but it's not saying that actual code. So I'm assuming it maybe it's just like homing. I'm guessing so. There's a warp to it. Oh, it's just right to it. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, not that button, although I'd forgotten. Fire! I'd forgotten all about fire. Get him, Was that just holding B or something? Or, yeah, just hold X down. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Wumba. Ah, there we go. And... I think that one is... Yeah, here we go. Yes. 
Man, remember, remember these episodes? It feels, it feels so like long a, a ago. Time ago. <laughs> it was legitimately a bit of, a while ago. This playthrough has lasted a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, it's a bigger game, junky game, and also we don't know it like the back of our hand. Yeah. <laughs> There's also that. Okay, I think there's like a wall on the right that had cheats Let's on it, right? Let's see about that. Oh, is this where you can like turn them off and on? I bet it Maybe. is. Maybe. Uh, you can use this menu to view or change the status of the cheats you have. Oh, and homing's already oh, there. Yeah. Oh, 12? Gracious, that's a lot of cheats. Definitely turn on more yeah. feathers. What? How did that get turned off? <laughs> Eggs. Oh, right. I got to type in. Gotta type in eggs. We gotta type in eggs and homing. We can, we can just turn it off if we don't like it. All right. Because it could be good in this game. Yeah. I just... I know if it's like Donkey Kong, it's probably more frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting. Now step across to the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat. I think I must not have done that last time. The eggs cheat will double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. Great. That's good. That'll actually help a lot with some of the eggs that I've been running out of in particular. No, homing. Homing may really mess with my trick shots. Like, if there's one thing that it's actually going to mess up, it's going to be oh, yeah. the arc, potentially, on uh, the clockwork. Is that what? Clockwork? Yeah. Is that the word? Okay, yeah. I was, my brain was defaulting to click clock. I was like, no brain. Different thing. Same game. Different thing. The homing cheat will make eggs home in on baddies. Awesome. Yeah, we can definitely test it in here because there is That's a baddie true. too. We can just bad news, fellas. Off. All right. Double maximum eggs on. Uh, on. On. Okay. And enable homing eggs. Homing eggs. All right. So just regular shooting. Didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, regular shooting. Guy, could you stand back? Okay, here's another one. Further away. Stand back. It's kind of hard Maybe to tell. Maybe it's only if it's first person. Might be. It might be that. Let's go find a better example. <laughs> so, Ooh, actually, can you shoot at these guys? Because remember, they have that little like crystal in their head. Oh, yeah, that could work. Okay, these can work as tests. Is oh, gonna... they're going to keep shooting at us, though. That's going to be a problem. Maybe if I can get up, like, up high where they can't... Here we go. Can't shoot this high, can uh -huh. you? Suckers. Oop. Uh, come on. Fire. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe try just shooting normal? Without first person? Let's try that. Uh, fire. Maybe they don't count as enemies. Maybe they don't. Huh. Eh. Look at all those clockwork eggs we got. That's so many. clockwork I'll eggs. I'll never run out. Perfect. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, we can always turn it off if we don't like it. We got but a I new think, world. I think it'll be fine. We got a new world to check out with new moves to learn, new things to see. It's going to be exciting. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah. While we're here. Yeah? <sighs> we didn't I'm, do it. Never mind. Never mind. No, I'm, I thought we were completely done here. We're Just, not. What? We're done with this level, but we're not done visiting this level. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most banjo tooie thing. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we're done with this level, but we're not done with we're this not level. Done. You thought we were done. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. All right. Honestly, we probably won't even ever do it. That's true. We don't have to do everything. Yeah. Uh, to the quagmire. Quagmire. Now we can go in the front door. That's nice. It's great. A favor we did for ourselves. See, like, I don't know. I, I like the idea of like, oh, here's this level that it's kind of like a puzzle getting into it. That's kind of cool. But I just feel like using this train that you really haven't probably even used at this point. Like, I haven't used oh, it. Oh, this one's fake. I remember now. Um, uh, it just kind of felt weird i kind of agree i wonder so like here's a thought what if so like so the order we have it in here is we got the jiggy unlock stuff 
to get ourselves into this, to get that door open, to get into a new world. Mm -hmm. And that has pretty exciting connotations at this point, even if two is the only one you've played. But then you get further inside and find like, ah, oh, dang, a train door that is blocking me from getting to almost everything. What if that happened in a different order? What if you like couldn't even get to the Grunty Industries big door because there was something that you needed the train to open the way to get yourself into this room so you could even get to this door that you had opened? I feel like that wouldn't be I, as bad. To be honest, I thought that was the case. Oh, um, really? Because I thought um, the little path we went up uh -huh. where, where there were the spring shoes, I thought that was a suction cup wall. And I know oh. we learned the suction cup in this level. Oh, okay. So I thought we couldn't even come here. Gotcha. Uh, but I was, that was, my memory was wrong there. But that um, feels like that would have felt a little bit better, because then it wouldn't have sort of the letdown of like, oh, I've unlocked, I finally got enough jiggies to unlock another world. Oh, let's go to, well, we already yeah. had this one unlocked already because we were idiots, but I got enough jiggies to unlock a new world. Oh, let's go see the new world. Oh, I can't do anything you here. can't do anything. <laughs> Whereas like, oh, I unlocked a new world. Oh, wait, I can't get to the new world. How, why can't I? The train, right. I should probably be still doing something with the train. Yeah. I should figure out how the train works. Like, and like, that wouldn't feel as bad, I feel like. I, I, I. It's it's one of those weird things because like they make it very clear of like, hey, you can't really do anything in this area until you figure out how to get in Grunty Industries. Yeah. But then they also like go through to like hide the switch when there's nothing else to do in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Part of me feels like, yeah, just make the switch closer in. But then have been making fun of the uh, Globos this whole time. Just we have been right making there, fun so. of the Globos. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one of those things like, I don't know. It just feels like something that feels like it could be better, but it's hard to, pin, to if, pinpoint exactly what. If there what. was still stuff to do in the level outside, I think. Yeah, or like maybe closer to like, because I did not realize how much of like Witchy World we've been unlocking recently. I didn't know how much more there actually was to it. It seemed like a pretty bare bones place. But now that more of it's gotten unlocked, I'm realizing, oh, this is kind of like there's more and cool. But there was still stuff to do before then. Yeah. So like if it was closer to a Witchy World thing where like maybe 30% of the level was still locked behind the train yeah. progress. Because then know. it would feel like, oh, it's not everything I need I can't access. There's like, oh, there's a few things I can, you know, still play around with. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it would be at least not a case of like, ooh, I got access to a new area. Let me go explore it. Oh, I can't do anything here. Because like that is... That's th definitely how like this reads to me. And that's like, how a lot of Banjo Tooie, at its in kind of its worst moments, can feel like. That, that some folks have asked in a, like or mentioned in comments like express or express some frustration and understandable frustration when I unlock access to a new area and then turn around and say, all right, let's go somewhere else. Like, uh, or let, let's go to the next world. We have all the moves or whatever else. Like, because yeah, like, usually in these games, the joy of exploration is, oh, I got access to a new place. Let's go see the new place. But the reason I do that is one, because like moves are more important here. And oh, oh I can come in from this side. That's fun, but still probably dangerous. Mm. The moves are the most important thing because like there's a lot of things you can't get without mm -hmm. moves from later worlds so the game's kind of been teaching me like without moves it's entirely possible there is not going to be anything in this place that you can actually do and sometimes that is literally the case and i would rather just leave and come back later when i know i can do something in that cool new place yeah. than go into a place and find out oh i i can't actually do anything here yeah well that's a disappointment and then like because that would just kind of bum me out and i don't want to get bummed out Access denied. The service elevator can be used by mechanical personnel only. You're bumming me out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but... Yeah, and and speaking as someone who played it that way, of I like to explore and constantly being told, like, oh, no. you shouldn't have explored yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that bed? Jello? Did I find a water bed? <laughs> it's a very bouncy bed. It's a very... I can't quite put my finger on what yeah. substance this is made of. It's maybe maybe it's like one of those like like it's a hammock. There's no actual wood under it, <laughs> and it's, it's just uh, like a box spring. Can I take these out? <laughs> hey, now it's homing. Okay, that's it is a homing. Better. That does help, especially with how mm -hmm. finicky this aiming can be. Probably used to be explosive. Open, I dare you. That's nice. better. That feels good. Hey, well, don't send reinforcements. Okay. 
You know, they just kind of do that. Fine. Although... I'd like to see Toilet Ducky deal with this one. What are you talking about? And who's talking? So, so question, get on this fridge, just so we're like in a safe spot. Okay. And then look up with the first person. Oh. Or not the, not the light. Uh, uh, I think like directly behind us in the corner. Yeah. Whoa. Can you take that guy out? Ooh. Okay, now kill the sentries. That, I, this is, this is, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just curious I, here. I'm actually feeling like that's going to work. And I, if that works, I kind of love it. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. All I, right. There I we like go. That. That's good. That, that's actually pretty great. <laughs> Putting all those golden eye lessons to use. They really are. In the banjo, Tui. Oh, wait. They did come back. Did, is there another Did the camera respawn? The camera respawn. <laughs> camera <laughs> respawn. <laughs> all right. Okay. I disliked that. Though. Yeah. It was kind of funny seeing sort of like, okay, well, at least they're consistent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although the fact that like, even though it, the camera comes back so fast that there's still no point in killing any of these dudes. Yeah. But the fact that they still stuck to their rules, okay, like, okay, well, the camera's gone, so that probably means there's, like, a permanent way to turn the cameras off or something. That's my guess. Maybe, yeah. Well, I honestly don't Got a real fan here. A, yeah. Please find a way of getting my overalls clean. I... If I still had Dragon Kazooie, I would just... Melt torch this whole situation. <laughs> do you think this is his room, or do you think this is, like, Mumbo's room? <laughs> <laughs> It does have a big, like, mm -hmm. portrait of Humba that I don't didn't expect to be able to grab onto. Also a book. Book. Just, just your one book. I can okay, so out question. Clean you fools. I think you, you know that that like restroom door you walked by and that text yeah, box yeah, yeah, yeah. popped up. Look at my pants. Mom's gonna kill me. I think there's like an absurd amount of Ow. voice lines from this toilet. Really? Is there someone out there? The lock's jammed. Like, I want to say there's references to games and stuff in it. Like... I wouldn't come in here <laughs> after me for about ten minutes. <laughs> Good old rare. Good old rare. Now I just want to see. Oh, yeah. That one really stung on the way out. This would be the one character that has, like, 50 lines. <laughs> ah! The bowl's overflowing! <laughs> this is basically Rare's whole thing, y'all have to understand. Mm -hmm. Oh no, there's no tissue roll left. <laughs> so this is why there's no Gruntilda rhyming. The writer basically, like, got had so, was having so much fun with this, there's just no time left. Had to ship. And I let's I understand. Sometimes you get into a creative flow. Hey! Hey there, bad Joe. Logo. What are you doing here? Well, Grunty ripped me out of her mansion and stuck me in here. Boy, you should see the mess some of those workers make. I don't want to know. Anyway, someone thought it funny to fill me full of paper. I really need unblocking if you wouldn't mind. We do actually. I okay. Okay. Um, um, I'm all blocked up. Help. And call a plumber. That well-known Italian one isn't doing much at the moment. <laughs> I don't think he actually does that kind of work anymore. <laughs> pretty That's good pretty joke. Funny. Even funnier now that this is a Microsoft property. Yeah, yep. <laughs> what if... Explosives. Yeah. Didn't work as well as I thought. What if... Did that help? Yep, I can feel a movement in my U-bend. You better stand back. This could be messy. Oh. oh. It, was, it was clogged with paper. Huh. It's a Cheeto book page. No use to be, though. I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you can have it. <laughs> All right, Rary, got it out of your system? <laughs> you ready for us to play video games? <laughs> They're ready. All right. I guess. There's not much time left, but it's almost a... It's been a full episode that we had to heal a dinosaur. You understand? Healing a dinosaur takes a lot. It 
takes a lot of effort and time. There's a move near here, though, and I'm really just dying to learn that before we move on. Yes, it's probably yes, the yes, suction yes, cup yes. thing. Must I can learn just move. figure I think it was out. Right there, yeah. It's like right here. Just... There's a staircase on the other side. Oh, that seems simpler. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's... Those are stairs. I even climbed these earlier. Oh, yeah. No, I was right up here. I just didn't realize it was... It was right here. Well. Teach me a move. Wear those boots and no more falls. As they let you walk up walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints up you run. Yay. Yay. That'll be all. Dismiss. Ah, we learned it, and now we can use the new shoes. There's probably a lot of places out here, too. I feel like I've been seeing footprints everywhere. Maybe it's the same ones when I keep coming back to the same location, but I feel like... Alright, where... Where are you? I saw footprints. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Hey! Hey! It's happening! We did it. There's more of them! I love the little sound effects. That's very cute. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, one thing. Uh huh. Um. Uh. Another another point for Banjo Tooie here. Ooh. Um. You remember in the I think it was the episode that came out today. The um or or maybe yesterday the big dino when we first transformed and we like hit the switch and I was all like ah the first thing you do is you see the switch. Yeah yeah. Every time you walked back on the button, your timer reset. So, oh. like, so you didn't have to wait it out and then push the button again. Oh, okay. That's so a, that at is least nice. they were like, oh, hey, here's a... That's a little kindness. Yeah. When I, I gotta give them points where they deserve it. Yeah. You know? I agree. Where have I second gone? Floor. Oh, second floor. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah. They have some big mouths. They really do. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Hey! Oh. Where could it be? <laughs> Lobo? Oh, oh my goodness. You How'd rascal. you find it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that too. That's going to be immensely helpful. Let's mm -hmm. see what we're going to get to turn into, and then we'll, then we'll call it a any, day. Any predictions? Mm. Let's see. We've... Um, Wait, a car, a snowball, or... <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of, like, locations in this level. So, like, there was the big crusher compactor that I don't know what to do with that, but there have been service elevators. And service elevators. Something that could go in a service elevator. I'm either going to look like an employee or a piece of equipment mm -hmm. around here, I feel like. it's a good guess. I'm excited to see... What? You have Globo. No, you have Globo. Here you go. Obtain Globo. I'm so excited to see what I turn into. Into the Wumba Pool we go! I'm gonna turn my camera around this way so we don't have a repeat of previous mishaps. <laughs> and... Uh... <laughs> it's an actual, an actual one in this. It's an actual washing it's machine. An actual, ah, it's, I, I appreciate this group that's a lot. That's fantastic. So th those, for those of you who don't know, that in, in Banjo 1, and I feel like most anyone who's watching this probably watched our previous playthrough, but in Banjo 1, every now and then, like a random chance, when Mumbo transformed you into something, he would turn you into a washing machine by accident, and it was just a joke, and then he'd change you to what he meant to. Yeah. Having this actually be a real thing that can shoot... Underwear, was it? Yep, that can shoot underwear. Is, uh... Man. <laughs> yep. It's pretty silly. But well, I, I do love it. Oh, rare. Cute callback. <laughs> I think even technically the dinosaur is a callback too, because I think there's a mumbo line, like a voice line. He's like, oh. "Who's gonna turn you into a dinosaur?" That does oh, that kind of sound sort of familiar, actually. Anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. <laughs> We're a washing machine. We'll see you next time when we continue to be a washing machine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love the jump. If a washing machine could wash its pants, how would it win? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.